Uh, hello everyone this is Ashish and today we are going to discuss about PowerShell module development and uh, we will continue our PowerShell module development discussion uh, in a different uh, aspect now so in previous video we have discussed how to create your PowerShell module and that was a very basic module uh, that you have created uh, locally but now we will discuss how to create your PowerShell module and 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 create a simple CI CD pipeline around it and uh, publish it on PowerShell gallery uh, autom I mean using automation that is CI CD pipeline for any application development uh, I mean essentially the, that is what they do for any application development uh, project so this is the thing that we will be discussing uh, today and today I am discussing this module winman uh, which is not a very uh, if you will talk about uh, usability of this module it is just a dummy module that I have uh, created for demonstration of CICD pipeline and publishing it on the PowerShell gallery uh, it doesn't have any significant uses or commandlet that can be used in a re real-time scenario but yeah I mean I'm looking forward to to any kind of getting any kind of logic that can be shared on the PowerShell gallery but yeah I mean to give the um, uh, aspect of CI CD we, we will use this PowerShell module uh, uh, for that so let's see so as you can see this is a PowerShell module uh, that we are talking about and this is uh, we will be building CI CD pipeline using Azure DevOps service so as you can uh, as you can see that uh, uh, we have this uh, uh, Azure DevOps service opened and there are um, there are a couple of services which are inbuilt into the uh, Azure DevOps that are board repository as you can see on the extreme left side toolbar um, there are board repository pipelines test plan and artifact but we are not going to the details of each one um, in this discussion essentially we will be going to some aspect of uh, some of the services which we are using for our PowerShell module um, CICD pipeline so let's see this is the module that we will be talking about and there is a readme file that contains all the discussion that we are having right now um, so you can refer that readme file for further um, discussion or further explanation uh, and this module is listed on this PowerShell gallery that is private gallery so if you will search winman here you should be able to download it install it it will not do anything for you but yeah I mean it's just a simple module that have couple of versions there so you can kind of uh, uh, you can also install it like you know you if you want to share it some module like that this is what we are going to discuss how to do it uh, so for that let's go back and see uh, let's open the code on my local computer so I have already cloned this repository and uh, it should be there github and winman right so let's open in Visual Studio Code and okay so this is the Visual Studio Code and uh, as you can see this is so if you see there is a folder directory structure you have one is private folder public folder release and test so release we can we can simply uh, ignore for the time being but pu private public and uh, readme is something that you can refer for any kind of details how this works if you will read me file previewer previewer then it will give a nice reading experience okay so as you can see there are a couple of files like azure pipelines yml we will go ahead and see about that but these two files basic files psd1 file that is the module file and psm1 file is the actual script module so these two files are pretty much basic for any kind of module PowerShell module right now apart from it uh, some of the things that I have created for getting it uh, properly proper code management you can say so we have two folders like private and public so public folder will contain all the PowerShell file that will have publicly exposed commandlet or function so this is one of the publicly exposed commandlet from this module so I have kept it here and whatever things that I will need for any kind of private stuff that I will be using within module not 
it it will not be exposed to the uh, user who will be installing this module that can be kept here in the private folder that gives the better code management perspective of your module so that is completely um, optional you it is not like that you cannot do without this but yeah i mean this is a better way of managing your code then we have this test folder this test folder contains actually the test tests which you can um, you know uh, which you can run against a uh, powershell module to get the result now this test is uh, we are using pester that is powershell uh, testing framework for testing uh, for uh, writing these tests so if you are not familiar with this format right so you can simply go there and on the either on the powershell gallery okay or simply go ahead on uh, a github link so if you do pester uh, github right so it will give you the github link here the first link that i re kind of open many time so there it has a very nice uh, getting started uh, documentation that you can follow or that i have covered in our readme file as well where you can how to install the pester module right so this pester module you can you install it like this and then this is the basic format of a pester test so this is what we are doing now after that we have we also have a saki module that we are using for build purpose now this saki module does a lot of work for you that you might have to write yourself so running these tests automatically you know right uh, doing some of the uh, some of the validation uh, things so if you see here in the build.ps1 file it is a little bit uh, large and it's not that i have written something it comes along with the uh, sake module that you get from the powershell gallery and you get this template you will have to do little bit of uh, tweaks so that it can run against your uh, module if at all some some path are invalid or something like that but yeah it is pretty much already done you just have to uh, install the module and then get this um, get this file and then it will it will it will be able to do basic stuff for you now the 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 reason for having this one is that you if you will run this uh, the command invoke sake right so then it will it will simply go ahead and try to run the uh, uh, you know the file build.ps1 so for that actually we have to give the build file actually build.ps1 and then it will run this build.ps1 and will do all the things that you expect from any kind of build process so it will go ahead and run it it will kind of generate the psm1 release folder where you can have the p winman private public and all those be uh, nothing extra right you have this public private then winman psd psm1 you can also kind of tweak this file to remove this azure pipelines.yml as well so it does not have to have in the powershell module right so you can remove it but yeah i have not removed it somehow i i the moment i i transitioned it to yml file i i forgot to uh, remove it from the build file build file so yeah i mean this can be done but yeah this pretty much this does the work for your uh, for your module now uh, if i if at all i want to run the task uh, test uh, as a part of the build then there is a uh, there is a option task list and there you can mention you want to run test as part of the build pipeline so it will run the task right it is running all the things and then it is kind of running the pester as you can see it will give the green sign for all my tests these are there are two tests describe get rem info and module manifest file test so so these two tests are kind of winram file is simply checking if this particular commandlet is giving a system dot double type and uh, this one is just checking if this does have the test module manifest file so this one this is an inbuilt command for testing module manifest so if your root i mean if the path does have a psd valid psd1 file then it will re return true at else it will re return false so it will just check whether your module does have a valid psd1 file or not right so these kind of things uh, uh, 
kind of uh, this is the test and sake build that we are running and we are kind of automating the same stuff in the ci cd pipeline so if we go to our this thing and if you see this build it will list the yml file we can see that in visual studio code as well but just let's let's have experience of seeing it in 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 azure devops and you can see that it is kind of defining the resources from where the repository is coming which hosted agent i am going to use what task i am doing so the, this is one of the sake tasks that i am using build.ps1 file and the i i want to run the test as well then i am publishing the test results so that that can be visible in the build pipeline and then i am publishing the artifact that can be used in the uh, what you say uh, that can be used for the up, uh, next release process so let's go ahead and see the build uh, uh, what you can see let's let's go ahead and see the last build execution and you can see that all these things ran and if i will go to the test tab it will show how many tests it passed because there were two tests this is all happening because we used the pester test and that generated a xml file on the server and then it is being used to render this this particular information here so you can be creative here and write as much as many tests you want to have as a part of unit um, unit test or integration test or whatever but yeah i mean this is to start with uh, we have done and then uh, after building we are doing simply we are taking up this artifact from the build cycle so we will go to the definition of the release and if we go there and we can see that this is the artifact that we are give, getting it from the build definition this is the build definition and what we are doing is we are running a task now here you can have multiple stages like you know QA I mean if at all your 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 module does have a complex so complex thing to do and if there is integration uh, is required if there is QA is required and all those things then you can simply either add a stage or clone stage from there right add or clone from there or for here uh, I mean for this particular pipeline I have just them for the demonstration purpose I have just created one stage but you can have as many stages you want depending upon your need and then you can even have the stage name whatever you want so here this is stage one you can have this prod qa or whatever right now let's go ahead what exactly happening in this stage it is just running a particular task that is powershell gallery packager so it is a it is available in your task list if you can see powershell I will search PowerShell then one of the tasks that I will get PowerShell package uh, PowerShell gallery package sorry so you can add that and if you go there you can see uh, I have configured it to use a PowerShell gallery key now this has been stored as a variable secret variable if I can go there it is a secret variable you can't see it if I will unremove this uh, thing then it will be plain text so I'll keep it there and then I'm using this key. You can get this key easily from PowerShell Gallery. So if we go to the PowerShell Gallery, then, and if you're supposed to create an account there, if you don't have an account, so I will go with Microsoft One, right? So not this one. Use another, and not this. Oh, sheesh. Right. This is my ID for the PowerShell gallery and if I will enter the password I should get uh, you know what are the commandlets I have so you can simply go ahead in the API keys option and here I have one key now you can create another key from there so I don't want to create the key but yeah this is how you can create key so that you can publish your packages now here if I go there and there should be an option to see my packages manage packages so one of the packages that i have published is winman right unlisted packages no one right so this is how you kind of uh, publish your packages here using your api key 
and it's a very simple task now you can be a little bit more uh, kind of uh, creative here uh, you can add some integration task and uh, so that you can publish uh, on gallery only when something else will also happen apart from your build pipeline like you know combining the package panga mining the uh, the module and then running it against some some infrastructure and see if that results uh, expected uh, results or not and something like that but yeah i mean this is pretty much we are doing here and we are able to publish it on the powershell gallery if you want uh, we can simply demonstrate a simple build pipeline there so let's go there and so this is let's discard the changes right and uh, let's go ahead and update the version simply update the version i don't have want to add anything there so go there and update the version to 7 to 8 right so i have deleted the version control s so we have one change you can see that idly you should not publish it to the master but demonstration purpose i'm just publishing it to the master so version bit simple committing the code syncing it with the master the moment i sync it with the master it should run a build let's go ahead and see the build process and it is still uh, it is still syncing so it synced and now let's see should should be available anytime because yeah you can see there is a new build it is continuous integration let's go ahead and see the running process so it will go ahead and run the build pipeline it will it will make all the you know uh, it will run the sake build ps1 it will generate the artifacts testing everything is done right published test results so that we can see in the uh, build pipeline that test that has run as part of the process and then the moment it will finish the build it should start the release right right now it is release 21 so we should be able to see release 22 soon you yeah, release 22 and it is on the stage 1 So if you will go ahead and see release 22 details, we should be able to see this. It is queued, right? And instead of going there, if I'll go here and if I'll search my module, so this is version 1.7, the current version, and let's just see. After this task completes, the latest version should be whatever I have pushed from here. 1.0.8 so you can kind of automate this process updating your module version as well but yeah i mean for demonstration purpose uh, i'm just demonstrating how the code changes is kind of continuously updating running the build uh, if all the tests are uh, passing and all um, and then it is running that um, release there are a lot of concept here in this uh, whole thing uh, you you supposed to have the idea of pester that is an, again uh, another thing that to uh, explore you are supposed to have idea of sake you supposed to have idea of azure devops pipeline we are just demonstrating how to combine all these three to solve a particular uh, situation or you can say uh, to make use of it for a particular use case uh, it can be i mean it can be improvised uh, it is not that it is the ideal state but it is a very good start i mean good good to have a start uh, let's go there and let's refresh this page and we should have 1.08 right so this is how uh, you can kind of uh, publish your a uh, second ago by my name right so this is how you can build a power ci cd pipeline for powershell gallery and uh, this project is public so you can simply go ahead and uh, browse this link and uh, you should be able to see the code uh, how it is working probably you wouldn't be able to see the definition but the definition build definition at least 
there is in the YML file itself so no need to I mean you can simply go ahead and clone this pipeline and then run it on your Azure DevOps instance as well or I will be soon making changes to it and make it multi-stage pipeline and mm, will make the release process from here itself so that that way you will have release as well but essentially release does have only one task that you can also add so yeah this is it uh, now uh, I mean this is the last thing in this uh, this is the last uh, topic I would say in uh, PowerShell basics I would say um, we have not covered all the things in PowerShell PowerShell is a very extensive nowadays I mean a lot of automation uh, in the Azure and the Microsoft ecosystem or other ecosystem as well like Amazon and all PowerShell is helping everywhere so so it has a lot of learning uh, opportunities there are so many things that we have not covered yet but yes i will be keep on updating the uh, you know my my uh, tutorial basic things to to go through uh, kind of uh, uh, for devops or for powershell sometime for uh, ci cd sometime for arm templates uh, sometime for uh, kubernetes so we are planning to have session as well so uh, hope you will you will like it and uh, share your comments and share your feedback in in the comment section thank you thank you so much